What is happening, people? I came and visited the military last time I was in San Diego. They've only invited me back. But at the EOD specialist, the explosion experts. Fire in the hole! I'm gonna blow shit up today, aren't I? When the military creates these explosives and why we field them is they are extremely safe to handle. Yes. They can be stored for a very long time and then each has a specific purpose. Say there's something buried, we're gonna use the dynamite or the TNT to push it out of the ground because we don't want to explode, detonate. C4 is a lot more powerful, so if we want to cut through something, C4 is kind of our universal explosive. We can yeah. do anything we want with it. I know C4 just because of Call of Duty. Yeah, you just throw a whole satchel and yeah. you click it, right? Boom. If you did that right by you know, yourself and you toss it, I mean, you'd be gone. Yeah. <laughs> and then here, it's our C2 sheet explosive. This is going to be used for cutting charges or breaching. Yeah, getting through doors and stuff. Things like that. It's a thin little piece of sheet, but it's very, very powerful. Excited to get to use them? Yeah, I still can't believe that was made in the 60s. That's f***ing mad. 60s, yeah, but it, it lasts for a long time. Putting the bomb disposal suit on. I look like a juggernaut off Call of Duty. <laughs> we always try and stay as far away from the hazard as possible. This is more for if we're having to respond to a scenario of unknowns, unknown explosives, unknown explosive hazards, things like that. Are you concerned at all, Patty? I'm just I'm concerned that how cold it is. That's it. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be too cold in the suit. <laughs> oh no. He's got fans on it, but it'll get toasty pretty quick. I'm looking forward to it to be honest, because I'm quite cold. Yeah, this is the heavy part, isn't it? Yep. Just wait though, the uh, the helmet's definitely gonna be the most awkward. I've got quite a fat head as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, welcome to my world, man. <laughs> it's that luscious hair, bro. I know. <laughs> it's a new way. <laughs> How's it feel? Quite comfy, to be honest. You think you could do a roundhouse in this or what? No. <laughs> so I wanna get me hair out of my eye there, please? We got a pair of scissors, That's man. It. If you want to just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. We ready to get the uh, the visor drop? You ready to do some stuff? Well, that's gonna have to be, aren't I? You have to do this. I'm gonna feel oh. like master chief in this. How, how low can you go in this? Try, it, see. But you can't even oh, go oh, anywhere. I get a lot lower than that. I can't go any lower. Than that. <laughs> hey, you're gonna have to get warmed up. You're gonna have to pick something up off the ground in a minute. Ladder won't be able to. Did you get on your back? Just flop on me back. Sure. <laughs> All right, you get back up. I'm trying. There you go. And now, hands are minty. <laughs> Woo! Good? Yeah. So you want to go for a little jog? Not really, but if you want me to, I'll have to. And <laughs> now, lad. It's just awkward because like the dexterity is a big issue, the mobility as well. So repetition and training and getting comfortable over time, uh, you kind of learn the tricks and how to move in it. But he's not doing bad at all. You see that projectile over there? Yeah. You're gonna go, you're gonna pick it up, and then we'll walk all the way around those barriers right there, and then bring it back. Quickly. Are we jogging or just walking? Not gonna run with the projectile, am I, Dil? Come on. Well, you don't have the projectile yet. No. Didn't expect that to be that heavy. Yeah, it ain't light on. Oh, <laughs> oh. <sighs> I thought this was gonna be light. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this heavy. There you go. <sighs> How much is the weight, do you think? It's heavy. <laughs> Almost halfway, there you go. <laughs> you just failed. We yeah. try again though. No, we'll make it to the end. Lad, I did not expect that to be that heavy. I thought it was an empty shell. <laughs> no pitching. <laughs> 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 How was that? It was so awkward. Picking it up was awkward, carrying it was awkward. that. <laughs> and I was only in it for about 15 minutes and sweating. We're in such cool climate right now that it's really not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. If you were in somewhere like Iraq or Afghanistan, sun beaming, just 
Are we able to score with it, like? Go ahead, give it a go. <laughs> I can't. Go ahead, give you. it a go. We're, we're I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that is like really, really heavy. <laughs> This is just like an Xbox controller. Yeah. All of your driving for the robot is gonna be done with this left the stick left here. Stick. So yeah. we're going forward, backward, and then your left and right is also right here. The right trigger moves the wrist. For the grippers themselves, number one closes them and number three opens. And you can rotate them with four and two. You got a golf ball in one of the cones, pick it up and you're gonna move it and put it on top of that other gun. This is gonna be easier said than done this <laughs> though, it? This it isn't is, gonna be practice. easy, this, please. <laughs> Boom. There's go. I'm gonna have to be slow with this turn now though. It's on top of it, it's not like in the clasp. What, has it fell off? No, you're so close. Just tap it to the left a little bit. What do you mean, what? There you go. Is it in? Don't tell me I've done that first go. Oh, lad, I am. Sign me up, please. Donut celebrating. Donut, donut. Oh, has it just cracked? There we go. Don't drop it, don't drop it. You f***ing know who the boy is. What Pat's gonna do next is uh, we have detonation cord that goes into the water bottle and we use the water to help displace the components of the ID without imparting enough shock into the potential explosives inside of it yeah. to detonate it. So before we actually do the shot, we need three loud fire in the holes across the range. Yeah. That lets anybody know that could be down there that we're about to do a shot and we make sure that anything in the air is not above it as well. Yeah. Down, quarter, Yeah. up. So before you do that, make sure you get your three loud fire in the holes across the well, range. Well, I gotta shout it. You gotta shout it, yeah, Louder. it's for safety. <laughs> Feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can I just say fire in the hole like that? Everyone's oh. gotta hear you. Everyone's gotta hear you. Fire in the hole! How many times? Three? Two more. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Okay. Now I'll go push in. Yep. Swiss. There we go. Mad. Never done nothing like that. You don't even have to do this in the United States of America, probably. Wouldn't be able to do this by ours. Next, it'll be better. We're gonna breach a door. This is gonna be sick. And you're just gonna have that igniter in your hand again. All right, safety's gonna come out. Yeah. Pull boom, it out. Boom. And I'll tap you, let you know when you're good. And then to go. Yeah. Push and then, yeah, biggest thing is just making sure we stay underneath. Underneath the blanket. Blank. Yeah. Just have to make sure it doesn't stick out. A little bit of fragments hitting me bum. So have you seen the picture where it's like four army fellas and then one fella dressed as a clown? That's like me. You look too bad. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> that was a belter. And that door's blew off its hinges. I felt a blast. Felt it hit me. We can definitely go stronger than that though. Here, you remember from earlier, we got our dynamite. Reminds me of cowboy films. Right, yeah. And Red Dead the... Redemption. Yeah, right. Red Dead Redemption too. Four pound and a quarter blocks of C4. So that's five pounds of C4 right here. We like to use C4 for demolition of ordnance items or cutting through steel, things like that. Yeah. And your TNTs and your ammonium nitrates are really good for quarrying and moving earth and making yeah, big I holes and things like that. Yeah. Five pounds of TNT, so this is probably gonna create a deeper hole than what C4 is going yeah, to do. Yeah, Our safe area is gonna be back up there, kind of on that pad. So what we're worried about- Stuff like the rocks but in, yeah. Exactly. That's we're what I was about thinking. The rocks in the earth, which is secondary fragmentation. Well, have you seen the size because of some of these? One of them blows off and explodes, it's in the edge, you're dead. What are your thoughts on the explosions? The lad. She doesn't <laughs> care. I'm just hungry, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when I think of like a, an explosion on a film, I think of um, tropic, the start of Tropic Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. That's basically...
Not better. And now, what are you expecting to see? Big boobs. <laughs> Let's blow some shit up. You're gonna give three loud fire in the holes across the range again. You're gonna hold the green button until we see and hear an explosion. And for everybody, after the explosion, we're gonna stay quiet. Does someone else want to shell fire in the hole? No, you gotta stay, buddy. So f off. All right. So three loud fire in the holes. Hold that green button down. That's the uh, that's the worst part of it. Shouting fire in the hole. <clears throat> Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Is that loud enough? One more. Fire in the hole! Okay, green button And now hold it. There we go. Same thing again. Fire in the holes. I've got to shout it again. You've got to shout it again, it's for safety. You have to. Sorry, brother. <laughs> I know, six more yeah, times. Just six more, though, you're almost done. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Boom, that one was. Oh. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Ooh, yeah. All right, that's it, brother. That last one was like a proper movie explosion, the mushroom cloud. These bags are being filled with gas. We're gonna put them on top of that coil of deck cord, causing a magnificent explosive effect. Is this like what they would do on a Hollywood film? On a Hollywood film or any of your cinematic productions. Some type of deck cord with either diesel or gasoline in it, and that'll create your big fire. I'm the juggernaut. I'm gonna blow today, aren't I? Sick. You watch all the stuff like that on films and you play Call of Duty thinking one day you could actually do it and then I actually have. Sick. Yeah, the sheer scale of this is ridiculous, you know what I mean? The size, the explosions they do and that and how safe it is and stuff. Everything's done to perfection. Well, can't thank my man enough, can I? Put me through it. Show me all the basics. The robot was like being on a video game. I half got to grips with that pretty easy. It was putting the suit on and doing squats and that. What was hard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, glad you had a good time. Yeah, yeah, it was an absolute pleasure. Thank yeah, you very much. Of course. I appreciate it. Here we got a patch for you. Oh my! Yes, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Of course, brother. And then there is the igniter. Is that the one that I used before? Yeah. Sure. First shot you pulled. Hopefully the, uh, the airlines don't worry about me bringing this home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First video was grappling with the Marines. Second video, we just blew shit up. Gonna have to make it a trilogy. Write in the comments what you want the last thing with the military. Well, not the last, it'll be the third thing. You never know, you could see me flying a fighter jet. Fire in the hole!